Hi everyone, uh, just wanted to give you another quick update on the uh, progress thus far. Um, this is uh, might be a bit boring for some people who are expecting um, more about the game uh, itself, the gameplay that is. Um, what I have here is version 2 of the Geosphere uh, setup for levels of detail. Um, now version 2 of this approach I think is going to be light years uh, ahead I think in advancement of um, the previous one. The previous one had separate meshes. Um, every mesh you see here except this white one at the end actually doesn't really exist per se. Um, these meshes are generated based on this one. Every ver vertex of these meshes from this diamond shaped one all the way to the end, uh, sorry, all the way to this blue one, are extrapolated, if you will, or not really extrapolated, are pulled from the vertices array of this, this sphere here. So, the relationship between uh, this face on this triangle, so this face here, and all these other faces um, are actually shown by this tree, which I thought was pretty cool. So if you actually look at this tree, um, it's actually, uh, if I keep moving, it's easier to see. That's why I'm going to just keep shifting back and forth here. Um, you can kind of see uh, how the uh, the tree, actually the points down here, like let's take a look at this point. So this point here connects to a face on the lowest level of detail. Now a ray is being cast up to the next point, which is the face, a face, on the next level of detail uh, that it uh, connects to. It actually will connect to four of them. Uh, every point connects to uh, at least four. So as you can see here, this point goes this way, this way, this way, and this way. So it's connecting the four faces. Now, if you look at, um, if I can move in closely here, you can see that uh, this point here also connects to four. See? One, two, three, four, right? And as I go up, you can see how there's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So every face on the lowest level of detail connects outwards to a higher level. Uh, that actually creates a neat effect. <laughs> Who knows, maybe I'll use this in the game. A giant spherical tumbleweed or something, but <laughs> anyway. Um, so, so right here, uh, we have, uh, let me just line these up here uh, so I can kind of draw on it a bit more you can kind of see how it's related so um, here you have a triangle on the edge right you can kind of see it outlined there and what's happened is that it, there's actually uh, a triangle here in the center that it's subdivided into uh, this one plus the triangle above it triangle below it uh, to the right corner and there's a triangle here uh, to the to the left corner as well now, this triangle here is a subdivision of this one here on this side. And that's just between these two. So now there's a line that connects from here, from this face, out to this one, a line that connects to this face, a line that connects to this face, and a line that connects to this face. So, um, why is that important? Because the association between this lowest level of detail, if the player is close enough, I can then go to these higher level of detail faces to determine, hey, is the player close enough to this triangle or this triangle? And by the way, when I mean triangle, I mean face as well. Um, triangle faces, basically. So uh, if the player is close enough, I can include them, and then I can further subdivide that into this one to that one and so on. So the closer the player is to, uh, for example, if they're close to this triangle and not the other triangles, then I only need to worry about this triangle. So then I can go into here, you know, and uh, we can see here that uh, this triangle here will be rendered. And then, you know, if the player is closer to this one, then I can render, you know, so on of higher de levels of detail uh, and then go up to another higher level of detail and so on and so forth. So. Now I added this little bump on the top, so you can kind of see how you know there's a lot more detail here. Uh, it loses some detail at this level, right between that little bump and this bump here. As you come over here, there's a lot less detail. So this might be, for example, uh, if the player is really close to this object, 
uh, as they get you know further and further and further and further away from an object uh, you know it gets harder and harder and harder to see then it would switch to the red one so um, so these two here these two colored ones are kind of um, I guess you can see the detail a lot more but these two on the end here um, are really really low detail I mean these would be like way like a, almost a dot in the distance perhaps and as the player gets closer to the object uh, you know more and more and more detail um, by object I mean planet because this is basically designed for planets um, well anything that's really spherical it needs to have level of detail the cool thing about the way this is all set up is that it's more fluent because every vertex of this uh, lower level of detail is connected to the previous one and that's connected to the previous one and so on so that basically means I can uh, terraform just one in particular so basically means I can just go ahead and you know stretch you know and, and, and change you know whichever direction that I that I want uh, in, in the individual points that is of that sphere and then every time I render a previous level it adopts the vertices of this particular one uh, to itself. Uh, that basically means if I move this point further up, uh, then this point automatically moves up, this one moves up, you know, this one move, well, may move, it depends on, on the relationship. So that's the great thing. I mean, that every, uh, you know, vertex uh, on the object on the left side connects to the vertex on the right side, and the, you know, blue connects to the red, and so on and so forth down the chain. Uh, you know, that's, the reason why that's important is is the a fluidity of um, uh, being able to put this in a thread and perhaps have a, a threaded routine to pull out all the uh, triangles uh, that are required from the lowest level of detail to the greatest level of detail you know and then send that for rendering um, I think that works a lot better than how a lot of terrain based level of details are implemented we have a lot of algorithms that are used with terrains that automatically stitch together different levels of detail and what ends up happening is that you have a lot of gaps uh, between the lower level of detail and the higher level of detail in the meshes. And people use the stitching algorithms to stitch that together and make it more fluent. Well, no stitching is required in this. And because of the tree of relationships, uh, again, as you can see by uh, this one down here, um, because of all the relationships, I can literally go through the tree and then determine which face uh, I should show or not. Um, I guess it's, I'm hoping that it should be uh, almost as uh, quickly as uh, using a type of oak tree in a way because um, an oak tree is kind of a, another uh, tree relationship uh, where you can determine what's associated or close to something else so I can try to find which triangle face is close to it then kind of go to the triangle faces the four that it references to find out how close the player is and keep going down through the tree until I've got uh, uh, you know a list of all the triangles that I want to render and then have those uh, triangles rendered uh, for that mesh, um, which should be where the player uh, is uh, at the moment. So, um, anyways, we'll see. I know it's a lot of techno babble, but um, you know, at least this is a, a documentary of the progress uh, of uh, the game development. Uh, a lot from my own records as well uh, as anything else. Uh, just something for myself to look back on, and um, anyone else who might be interested. Uh, hopefully, the future videos will be a lot more exciting and I'll have something uh, more to show. Okay, thanks a lot. Uh, subscribe again, stay tuned for more uh, progress reports, and um, thanks a lot. Appreciate your time. Have a great day, everyone.